What is real? How do you define real? How do you know you exist? It is intuitively obvious. Intuition is no proof. What concrete evidence do you have that you exist? Hmm. Well, I think, therefore, I am. That's good. That's very good. But how do you know that anything else exists? My sensory apparatus revealed it to me. Ah, right. This is fun. Now, listen. Listen, here's the big question. How do you know that the evidence your sensory apparatus reveals to you is correct? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. What I'm getting at is this. The only experience that is directly available to you is your sensory data. And this sensory data is merely a stream of electrical impulses that stimulates your computing centers. In other words, all that I really know about the outside world is relayed to me through my electrical connections. Exactly! Why, that would mean that I really don't know what the outside universe is like at all for certain. That's it! That's it! So we're really like blind people groping around with these feeble little senses to determine what reality is. Can we make sense of the world only if we base the world on consciousness. World is made of consciousness, world is consciousness. Consciousness is the ground of being. Qu quantum physics makes this as clear as daylight. If you want to see fear in a quantum physicist's eyes, just mention the words, the measurement problem. The measurement problem is this. An atom only appears in a particular place if you measure it. In other words, an atom is spread out all over the place until a conscious observer decides to look at it. So the act of measurement or observation creates the entire universe. Today, a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There is no such thing as death. Life is only a dream, and we're the imagination of ourselves. And this is exactly what mystics have been trying to tell us for so many years, that, that the world is an illusion, and that the real uh, world and universe is a non-physical. Shamans see the universe as made of primal vibrational stuff. And that really tied into my understanding of quantum physics, because in quantum physics we talk about quantum waves, which are vibrations, out of which all matter is eventually, uh, eventually is created or emerges. Atoms are not just unimaginable, they're self-contradictory. They behave both like particles and waves. And it gets weirder. When you're not looking at an atom, it behaves like a spread out wave. But when you look to see where it is, it behaves like a particle. And one of the basic assumptions about of quantum physics is the quantum wave nature of all matter. That matter, uh, unobserved, matter on its own, uh, moves and vibrates in, in, in waves. But waves of what? Are they water waves? Are they sound waves? Are they electrical waves? No, they're actually waves of nothing. But imagine you're doing music. You need silence to be able to cut it, to make music, to make a beat. If you're making reality, you need space to define the reality in between. So space, reality could be just various resolution, right? Various division of space <laughs> in a fractal structure that Thanks for joining me again everyone. Happy you could make it. I just wanted to uh make a little update to the video I posted last week with the little black discs appearing in my backyard. I think uh I think some of you have seen it, maybe some of you haven't, you'll have to go back to my channel and check it out or just 
show a little glimpse of it right here right now and uh, I gotta say it was quite a special opportunity for me to be able to see these guys and I've only been seeing them um, a lot more since they're popping up everywhere is on webcams Wow little crystal chimers they're binging in my ears loud yeah so these guys have been popping up everywhere now um, it seems like I can't go anywhere without seeing them and uh, it's a pretty special little experience I think really all a person's got to do now is look they seem to be everywhere but uh, I just ran into them today again and it wasn't my own camera footage but somebody else's and once I saw it I thought wow you know what this is this is special stuff I gotta gotta share it just because it sort of reinforces the the last video I had uploaded with them but uh, I'm just gonna roll it straight off this guy's this guy's webs or uh, his uh, YouTube channel his name is his name is Donnie from Daytona and Donnie from Daytona Donnie from Daytona he's right into drones and uh, he's really got some excellent footage uh, he seems like he really uh, really knows his stuff when it comes to drones he's, he's the guy um, so this footage he just uploaded the 24th so what's that uh, today I guess officially now is the 26th so just two days ago and I haven't even really gotten halfway into it yet I was just watching it uh, he comes and he sets his drone off here to roam down this river and he's looking at these big beautiful birds of prey that are that are uh, circling and I'm just gonna let it roll but as he flips up to the Sun I'm gonna just kick it into slow motion and and I think you'll see why but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let him roll, and I'll let him talk yeah, through it. Okay, I'm just going to uh, zip back in a little bit here. We're going to take a look at this. Well, never mind everything that's in the front of the camera here, but I'm not going to even worry about that. We're just going to focus. Oh, big bird. When he flips up here, don't worry about any of this. None of that stuff. We're not even going to consider that right now. Let's just pretend that's all just giant birds looking for food. But I think... We can all agree that this is not likely a giant bird up here. We've seen quite a few of these little dots way up high.
That doesn't appear to be moving like a bird. I don't see any wings flapping. Not sure. Sure, that's a bird. But, you know, even he's aware clearly that this is not our natural sun. That is a sun simulator. Now, I think I missed the first roll up that he, that he took, so I'm just going to zip it right back to right when he launches. So he's pointing out the sun simulator appearing in his back window, the reflection. Now he figured out that if he was filming at 30 frames per second, it wasn't appearing, but at 60 frames per second, it appears. And I guess I don't need to remind you all that I've been pointing out the pink and purple solar flare or lens flares for quite some time and the spectrums that are showing up that are not our natural rainbow colors. He goes into that a bit too, his theory on that, but uh, I'll let you go check out his video. Check that out. Look at that. That is not a bird. I'm going to skip down here a little bit further. Right along here, right there. Check that out. Check that out. Those are not birds. Those are not birds hanging out by the sun. See them? Maybe that's a bird. Sure. That's definitely a bird. Sure. But look at these little bumps in the clouds. Look at these black dots up here. Those are not birds. Birds don't just hang out under the sun in groups of 15. Let's go back and just hit it one more time. You see them appearing? See that? See this? Those are not birds. I hate to be the one to break it. Actually, I love being the one to break it. Never mind, cancel that. I'm happy to be the one to bring this to you. Because, well, reality needs a little shake around here. And some people need a little wake-up call. And this should be it. It should be it. I'm sure it won't be still for many. I'm still, I'm sure we'll have that trolling, nagging sensation that somebody needs to come up with an explanation for it that makes sense in the science textbooks. Look at this spectrum here. Look at this. Where is this from? What is this giant red hue leading to purple? What is this? Look at the shadow. Maybe that's a bird's shadow, but still, look at this. Look at this color. This isn't natural. This isn't from the world I'm from. Uh, unless I got Mandela affected here or something, because I don't ever recall seeing anything like this ever in my years of life. These giant swaths of color showing up in video of landscapes all over the world. Sure, it's just a lens flare. I get it. Where does it come from, though? Lens flares are created from something. Typically, in my day, they came from the sun. The sun would create a flare, a reflection, inside your screen, your monitor, your, your lens. And, you know, you'd have like one or two circles created from the sun, from reflection either on one surface or two surfaces of your lens. That's how lens flares work. But this? What is this? Like, you know, that's huge. And yeah, sure, this is a bird. This is a bird. That's not. That's not a bird. That is a black disc. They're hanging out inside the clouds. I know, crazy Justin, there's UFOs hanging out in the clouds. Look, I'm showing you. You can see it right here. I'm picking this up in dozens of cameras from all around the world. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They could very well be in every single cloud. Now, 
I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is. I just know what I'm seeing. I know that a lot of what we're seeing in the skies is being faked right now. It's like a big show going on up here. The sun's all out of whack. We got a solar simulator. It appears at some times. It appears not other times. I mean, at sunrise and sunset, we seem to see like the real sun up to a certain height, and then we see this grand show of a solar simulator take over and go up the rest of the way. Uh, you know, it's in different locations from different cameras. It's just, you know, it's bizarre. It's bizarre stuff going on up here. And if you just open your eyes and look, you'll see it. Like, it's, I can't look in any camera now without identifying this stuff. They're everywhere. They're all over the place. You don't got to look hard. You just have to look takes a tiny bit of patience maybe but not much really not much they're everywhere there's little black discs and little white orbs and they're virtually everywhere the white orbs are easy to spot at night the black discs are much easier to spot during the day but they're everywhere they're all over the place you can check a dozen different webcams and you'll see something out of whack for sure but nobody seems to be looking so here I am trying to at least dish it out so that some people can see it for those who have eyes to see here it is bird of prey sure not bird of prey it's dark space up here behind these clouds why is it dark there was a cloud casting a shadow uh, are these things maybe even mocking birds or maybe they're they're taking the form of local birds to fool us? I don't know. It's possible. I can't necessarily write anything off at this point. Once you start seeing black discs in the sky, then what? what is impossible at that point? Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible now. We've got a fake sun, for fuck's sakes. But many of us still do not have eyes to see. So many of us will keep trying to help those who are willing to see. And that's me. Lucky me. The curse of being the messenger of truth. But someone has to do it. There are many, many others that are just like me. I'm not the only one. Lots of people are trying to shake the trees right now and get everybody's attention so I'm just one of the many messengers one of the many here it is the truth for those with eyes to see if you've got eyes to see well, here it is bird of prey not bird though we're not sure yet whether it's preying on anything they do seem to be moving in stealth mode. And they do seem to be intelligent and almost organic. I, I, like, I, I want to think this is a little spaceship, but there's thousands of them. And they seem to move around almost like they got a little personality. Uh, so, I mean, if it's a spaceship, they are definitely... Of a being that is in tune and at one with its technology because they move super fast when they're moving and they're hanging out just like these guys are up here then they're just you know puttering around but they can move super fast like you've got to definitely slow your video right down in order to catch them but that's not hard well, I got a little plug in so that I can just do it with my mouse wheel So yeah, I'm just going to leave you just with a couple minutes of this guy's drone footage. It's absolutely beautiful drone footage. Again, his uh, YouTube channel, Donnie of Daytona. Uh, he's got some really excellent footage. You should check it out if, you, uh, if you're into drone footage and scenery and a lot of these beautiful scenes that he's capturing down in Florida. Uh, it's absolutely breathtaking. Oh, look at that. I've never even seen this here. It's like some sort of bodies moving through the air. It's a sort of typical... 
typical site we see these days, or I've been seeing. These large streaks through the sky that look like giant chemtrails that just sort of appear out of nowhere. And, uh, yeah, well, they're not quite chemtrails. You see this long, look, stringy looking chemtrail looking thing here. These, these look more like chemtrails. These over here, not chemtrails. Not, nope, too big. Too big for chemtrails. What's, what's going on here? Like a breakage in it? Yeah, no, not a chemtrail. But anyhow, this is just in time. Bringing you more from the Watermelon Seed Army. That's my new humorous name for these guys. They look like little watermelon seeds. The Watermelon Seed Army. Alright, I'll see you soon. Much love.